and then that slides up there, screws on, there's your cable there, then you take your uh, salt and oil and take, cut the strip off however much you want, and then you peel the uh, Peel the uh, protective backing off, stop it sticking to each other. <coughs> remember this is, uh, this is hot, so what you do is you, uh, he says he just burns himself. You lay it on there, and then you pull quite tight. You have to uh, pull it, that's how it activates. As it go around, it forms a uh, very good seal. I'm not going to get any water in there. Just uh, pull it tight. And just spread it down flat at the end. That is really warm. There you go. Probably put it a bit too high up on the connector, but uh, that's fine. The actual thing's not not going this far because it stops stop by the uh, stop by the tape. But it just means you'll have to uh, screw it on and then screw it off instead of undoing it and then pulling it off. But yeah, that's uh, it's going to stop any water coming down into your coax, which you want. It's very bad for the radio if that happens. Um, so there's that. Uh, I've shown you how to do uh, these little tiny ones with the uh, crimp it and then solder it. What else have we got? Uh, sometimes uh, you get some things which are, uh, you know, little, uh, there we go. Little, little connectors like this, uh, sockets, and they've got little bucket feeds, little buckets in there. If you uh, put a little bit of uh, heat on them, put a tiny bit of solder in them just to uh, tin it, tin your uh, tin your wire before you uh, you start. All it means is uh, taking your uh, taking your wire, taking a soldering iron. Obviously, yeah. Uh, try not to do it like this. <coughs> Apply some heat. The solder arms are all around. But just put a tiny, tiny amount of uh, solder on there. It's not a lot. If you hold the heat, give it a little flick. It takes the excess, uh, excess solder off, but uh, you've still got a residue on there. So you can uh, makes it makes it easier to uh, connect connect the two. There's that. What else we've we got? Um, I think that's about it, really. To be honest, uh, I'll show you the well, I'll show you the uh, desoldering pump. Let's find something that I can uh, I can solve. Well, I'll show you the. Uh, it might work. I don't know. There's the uh, the PL two five nine. I did before. If you uh, prime it and then apply heat, actually I'll show you before and after. Just to remind you, there's a uh, bucket full of solder on there. If you uh, apply heat just until it melts, the cable's moving. Yeah, the, nib, the nib needs changing on this. Come on. It's not doing too well. Come on, give me the heat. There we go. And then just place that over there. Get one of them. And you see the uh, solder just fall out there. It's actually uh, sticking out the end. It's not going to be hot because uh, it's only very thin. And just do that as many times as you want. Uh, obviously, the uh, the least amount of times you do, the better.
it's not good at all out. But uh, it's got majority, majority of it, majority of it out. Uh, and then also it'll be easier to take the uh, take the connector off. Um, and I think that's all. All I was just about to uh, show you actually. Uh, more handy tools. I suppose you could call it a, a Dremel multi tool. Various speeds. It's got different uh, different heads you can put on. It's good for cutting the uh, the little project boxes, the little uh, PVC type uh, type of boxes that we've got. Right, this one, like that one there. It's, uh, or ABS type plastic. Very good for cutting through there, just making little holes for your uh, for your cables or uh, your switches. So. Uh, there we go. I hope I haven't bored you too much, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be uh, plenty of comments about the uh, your videos. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time from Stu.